Welcome to Transformational Fighting Arts Online. I'm Sifu Marcus Lovemore. Uh, today we're going to go over some intermediate footwork of how to translate power from integrating your push shuffle to your punch. Because what happens a lot of the time is that when people are combining their push shuffle or their step and slide to their straight punch, it becomes just a momentum punch and they start taking out the rotational part of the punch, which is another considerable way of expressing your power. So what we're going to try and do is collide all of those things together, that three to two, two to one concept, okay? So because what happens is when you're push shuffling, yep, you're push shuffling, and then you throw your punch, what happens is a lot of people, they just push shuffle and throw that punch. What I want you to do is be able to throw the punch and rotate. To get that rotation into the movement, to stay in accordance with the push shuffle and hitting either at the same time or before your front foot hits the ground. And if you're a little bit confused about that, please go to the straight punch video and the push shuffle video before you uh, start looking at this because then you'll understand how to put these pieces together. Um, once again, if you're just moving forward and just throwing that punch, right? that rotation's not there. And how to do that to get that rotation in the middle of your movement, you want to get it in mid-air or as your front foot lifts off the ground. Or what happens is you basically get rid of about 30 to 40 percent of your power. It's basically like the snap at the end of your punch. So what we're going to do is show you some footwork and a footwork exercise in order to practice that so that you get that hip rotation in midair. Because if your feet stay forward, what happens is your hips lock into place. So what you need to do is be able to rotate your hip as you move. How do you do that? You unhinge the, your feet. So remember your center line concepts. And if you don't know about that, go to the um, Four Corners video. It really explains that pretty well. Keeping that center line and keeping one foot on the other center line and the other foot on the other side of the center line. Basically, the center line should go straight through you. When you step forward and just do the step and slide right now so you have a little bit more control, I want you to step forward, step, and see how my feet turned and then rotate back to your, your original on guard stance and then step and slide back. So, once again, step. See how my feet are pointing in this direction? What I don't want you to do is get on your tightrope when you do that, okay? Otherwise, you'll be able to throw your straight, but you will limit your cross ability from this position. See how far back my hip is? It's only when I open up this hip that I'm able to rotate through that once you throw that straight, okay? Once again, step, there you go. Once you get that, and you can do it in more of a push shuffle kind of manner, bang, Staying over your center. Remember, we're not trying to throw the hip forward. We're not trying to throw the hip forward. Stay over your center. So what it looks like sideways, right? See? You want to land very solid because you have to hit something eventually, okay? Once you get that and you can practice that over and over again, I highlight once again that number 500. It's a great number to practice every day. Once you get that, I highly recommend adding a punch to that motion. So what does that look like? Remember, try and get that punch off before or at the same time that front foot hits the ground. Bang. And then rotate back and then step back. Bang. See that? Bang. Remember, the feet come back at the same time the hand comes back. Right? Yep. See that? In slow-mo. Boom. Full expression, rotate back so you're ready to go, okay? Once again, do that 500 times. 500 times is a favorite number of mine. I like it. It really kind of ingrains the motion into you after you do that. Do that over and over again. Get that timing down. And if you have a problem with that, just go back to the push shuffle and the straight punch video to really look at how those work if you're having issues with any one of the singular motions. So that's how you start generating power in your punch. The other thing is, you're going to get there before most people. And your ability to intercept is dependent on this economy of motion. If you're stepping and hitting, that's two motions and it just slows you down. You want all this to be one exploding motion, right? 
and generating all your force at the point of impact, okay? So if you have any questions, uh, go to uh, Transformational Fighting Arts online. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, any suggestions, I'd love to hear that too. Um, remember, you can always subscribe on any one of my blogs. Specifically, if you want this information to be sent to you by email, so you don't have to check every week when I post these things, just sign up by email. And remember, it, all this information is free only by your donating. So check out the donation buttons. All my students would be appreciative, and so would I. I'm Sifu Marcus Lovemore. This is Transformational Fighting Arts Online. Remember, it's not about knowing, it's about living it. Thanks.